Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm doing another 48 hours. So this is from, this is timeless, this is from whenever you catch this video, the next 48 hours, what messages are there for you, what do you need to know in this period, okay? I just want to thank you, I've just announced the winners for the August competition. So for September the competition is on this channel star child tarot so if you're new here welcome i hope you enjoy my content if you're a existing subscriber thank you so much to win a reading you need to subscribe like and comment the word star for the rest of september that is the competition and you get a chance to win a one question reading from me as a thank you i also have a card shop and a patreon page and all the links are down below Okay, so thank you. So let's get started. What messages have you got here for the next 48 hours? So we've got facade. <clears throat> so this could be you. Maybe you're not being authentic. Maybe you feel you have to put on a front in the world somehow. Or this is somebody you're dealing with, okay? Somebody is not being their authentic self. Somebody's not being true, Um with you in some way okay so take what resonates so it could either be you maybe you feel uncomfortable being authentic or there's somebody around you that's not being authentic okay so you have to tap into your own intuition for that and we've got confusion so you could be feeling confused right now there could be some confusion in your life some unclear energy maybe you're not sure about another person as i said there could be somebody around you who's putting on a false front, acting in a false way, um, or you're feeling confused right now in a situation. And when we feel that way, we need to really clear our minds. It might help you to get out into nature, <coughs> to go out into nature, or detach from a situation, you know, do some meditation, go within, you know, to get some clarity. And we've got workaholic energy here. So this could be you. Again, you could be working too hard, um, your life could be out of balance, okay, you're not spending enough time with maybe friends, family, relaxing, um, you put a lot of focus into work and I understand that mentality, obviously a lot of people are worried about finances, but the thing is with that energy you're going to wear yourself out, you're going to burn yourself out, okay, so you need to find the balance for yourself that works for you, or it could be somebody you're connecting with as well who hasn't got the time and energy for the sort of relationship you want maybe their focus is on work and unfortunately these you know these situations you know we need to take that time out for ourselves we need to have that downtime you know because we're not machines and it's finding that balance yeah we've got enlightenment here so i feel that you're going to have some understanding something's going to come into your um, mind into your heart you're going to see something in a new way you're going to have a deeper understanding of something. You're going to see something in a different way. And this could be to do with the work-life balance. It could be to do with a person, as I said, in your life. You're going to see the truth of it, okay? And we've got passion. So live your life with passion. You know, what are you passionate about? What, make, what makes you feel passionate? You know, are you feeling passionate about your life? I mean, is there something lacking in your life? And this could also be talking about the passion between a, a, a two people. So we've got two people in the card there. So there could be a new passion coming into your life, a new person coming into your life for some of you. Or for those already with people, there could be um, a renewed passion, if you like. But whatever it means for you, you know, follow your passion, live your life with passion. And we've got completion. So some of you are coming to a completion in... A cycle, this could be to do with a relationship. This could be to do with work. We do have like an image, someone at the graveside. And if you have lost somebody, I'm sorry for your loss. But the death card in the tarot symbolizes transformation. So it could just be that you're going through a period of transformation. But if you have recently lost somebody, I am very sorry for your loss. <clears throat> and there is some sort of completion here in your life coming up. Some sort of cycle is completing and, you know, an ending is always followed by a new beginning, okay? So there is new ahead for you. 
and we've got renewal here so that really ties in with that last message so you're going to have a renewal in your life some sort of revitalization some sort of like we said enlightenment some sort of upliftment and a renewal it could be a renewal in a connection for some of you there could we're coming into mercury retrograde on the 9th which is about redoing things it can be relationships as well okay um so there could be some renewal so this could be in your life you could be feeling renewed you know you've let go of something that wasn't serving you and you're coming into a new phase of your life and we've got self-worth. Yeah, I feel you're coming into that energy of self-worth, you know, realising your, your, your worth, not putting up with maybe what you put up with before, not putting up with less than you deserve, knowing that you're worthy, knowing that you're deserving of love, knowing that you're, you're deserving, knowing that you're deserving of, of somebody that wants to spend time with you. You know, you're worthy of that. You deserve the best. And we have faith here. So have that faith in your dreams, have that faith in your beliefs, have faith in yourself, have that renewed faith in your hopes, you know, do not lose faith, find something to believe in, find that strength within you, it will carry you forward. And we have abundance, beautiful, you have abundance coming into your life, okay, and this could be in all areas, but we have coins there, so definitely some financial abundance coming in for you some unexpected income maybe a pay rise for some of you um, maybe a check you'd forgotten about maybe somebody owed you some money or maybe you've just been working on your manifestations and you're attracting in this abundance abundance unexpected abundance and it could also be in your life in general more good things coming towards you we've got uncertainty here though so you you know we did see about an ending so before you move forward, there could be some uncertainty. Um, you're not sure which way to go, but you can see the butterflies here. There is a transformation process you're going through right now. And the path ahead is going to be lit up for you. Follow the light. Follow your guidance. And focus. And Wizard of the Woods, I mean, he's like Merlin. So connect to nature. Get out in nature more. Uh, connect your own intuition we've got the number 505 is the number of change okay and we can see there's change coming in and with this energy it does very much connect me to the manifestation energy with the moon energies okay manifest your desires with the moon be the magician of your own life focus on it what it is set your intentions what do you want to manifest and trust trust in the process trust in your guidance trust in your intuition um, trust in your path okay and go within and spend that time alone and we have family so i feel this isn't just talking about your you know family your blood family i feel this is talking about family like soul family find your tribe find the people that you resonate with some of you could resonate with the wolf spirit this could be your power animal or this is a sign that this is an animal you can connect with Wolves can be very much loners or they can live in packs. Um, so find your tribe. Who do you resonate with? And enlightenment. So that came up before. So you're definitely going through a period of enlightenment. You're going to have some things, you know, come into your awareness, some understanding coming into your awareness there. And we've got the number 1 plus 9, 10, which is the end of a cycle. So you're coming out of a... <clears throat> and we had the confusion card earlier. We had the confusion card earlier, so I feel you're coming out of that period of confusion and, and you're going to get the enlightenment that you, do, you need. And miracles, wow, look at that, how beautiful is that? You can see the rainbow under the waterfall. So there's miracles ahead. If you believe in miracles, you can manifest them, you can attract them into your life. And again, we've got the beautiful butterfly there, and that's the red colour of the root chakra. So maybe you need to ground your energy, ground yourself right now. Um, and it is the number three plus four, uh, three plus one, which is four, which is about stability foundations. So have the, those foundations to manifest these miracles from. Believe in the magic of life. And again, we've got um, dragonfly energy. 
and change. Yes, definitely change ahead for you. And trust, trust in the process, go with the flow. Don't try and fight it. We've got water here. So again, it could be to do with your feelings, your emotions. It could be to do with a connection. Could be a new connection coming in where there's going to be deep feelings between you. And the truth, the truth is out there, raven spirit. And again, the raven could be a power animal for you, a power sign, um, a sign from your guides, your angels, your ancestors that you connect with, that resonates for you. So seek your truth, you know, seek the answers. And we've got the number three plus two, five again. So change is coming up. Maybe the way you see the world or the way you see yourself, the truth of that is going to change. But seek out the truth, whatever that is for you. And energy, I feel there's more energy coming in for you. You've got fire spirit. So you could be having renewed energy, renewed passion. We saw that earlier. You know, something is energising you. You're coming into some new energy at this time. And we've got number one, so about new beginnings. This reminds me of the Six of Swords in, uh, in the Tarot, Knowledge. So moving away from the past, I feel this person or you, you're moving away from the past, the way you saw things in the past. You've gained knowledge or you will be gaining knowledge. And this will help you move into smoother waters in your life to find that peace within yourself. And transmutation, yes, definitely. You're transmuting energy within yourself. You're letting go of negative thoughts, patterns, words, behaviours. Um, negative situations you're detaching from people that no longer resonate for you you know you're transmuting this energy you're you're coming out of this it's like the phoenix rising out of the ashes so you could have been through a very dark period in your life okay and you're coming out of that renewed with that fresh energy as i said and growth yeah you've done a lot of growing or you will be doing a lot of growing in a spiritual sense, okay, in a mental sense, in an intellectual and emotional sense, there's been a lot of growth within you and it's continuing and, you know, just go with the flow with that, just trust in that. And expansion, how beautiful is that? Look at that beautiful tree. Um, I don't know if they're apples or peaches, but the fruit on the tree, you know, abundance energy again, expansion, opening up to receive, open up to receive more and the beautiful yellow bird, the solar plexus energy, you know, being that energy of self-worth, self-love, self-respect and attract these energies in for yourself because you deserve all good and you're expanding, your, your knowledge and your understanding is expanding in the world. And manifest your dreams. And again, we've got another spirit animal here, the otter. So that could resonate for you. Maybe you're a water sign, you know, the otters live in the water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but whatever, you know, whatever you resonate as. And again, we've got the number 10, floor plus six is 10, an end of a cycle. Manifest your dreams. Focus on your intentions, set your intentions, and you can manifest your dreams. Just have faith, trust, and belief in yourself. We've got wait for winter. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. So again, we're coming into the winter months in the Northern Hemisphere. We're just heading into autumn and then winter. So winter could be a particularly powerful time for some of you. It may not be for all of you, but winter could be particularly strong, okay, for your manifestations. Um, some things can manifest quicker than others. And if you're trying to manifest something really big for yourself, a lot of change for yourself, you know, it could take some time for this to happen and it could be around the winter months for some of you. And again, manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you want to manifest and write down on paper manifestation, step one. So for some of you, it could help to actually write these manifestations down, these intentions. What is it you want? Get clear in your mind. We had that earlier on. Get clear in your mind. What is it you're trying to manifest for yourself? Be clear. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you're trying to manifest. So this is obviously a powerful message through here about manifesting your desires. And we have journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. So for some of you, there's a journey on the horizon here. 
Um, <clears throat> now, there's definitely an inner journey going on, but I feel for some of you, it's in the, it's in the 3D. There's a journey. So you could be travelling, you know, by air, water, train, bus, car, um, whatever. Okay, so it says about your passport. So you're travelling to a different part of the world than you're actually living for some of you. Okay, and this could happen unexpectedly. It says impromptu or planned. So for some it is unexpected and for some maybe you are planning a journey in the near future. And again, abundance again. Prepare yourself for income and abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairy land and human land, there is enough abundance, enough abundance for everyone. That is true. There is enough for all. Okay, there is no limit. There, we only put limits on ourselves, on our own beliefs. Okay, so try and let go. Try and release that that block. Um, try and release the thought that there isn't enough. There is enough for all. Nobody has to go without for you to gain. Okay, just remember that there is enough for all. And it's in everyone's interest to live in that life of abundance because we can be more at peace, more free to help others when we when we want to. Okay, and be able to. And purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. So we've got a beautiful unicorn here. That came out in the last reading I did. So unicorns could be particularly significant. Maybe you have a unicorn guide. Or again, there's one waiting to connect with you. So if you meditate, go into meditation and ask your unicorn to come forward. They're purely ma magical beings. They live in a different dimension. But when you connect with them, obviously you can connect with them and see them and interact with them and they want you to know that you have the purity your heart is pure okay you are pure hearted and they want you to connect to that again and believe in magic open your eyes see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature so you are magical too yes we are part of nature we it's called human nature you know we are a big part of nature you know we are made up of water you know we are made up of all these elements within our body and we are magical and by believing in the magic you can help manifest this magic and you deserve to connect to this magic in the world and we have light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. And what I've noticed as well, there's a lot of rainbows in your reading. There's a lot of rainbows coming through the cards. These are all different decks. I shuffle the cards, okay, but the rainbows are coming through. So again, to me, that's a beautiful sign of fortune coming towards you, of good luck, changes for the better. And we are all beings of light, okay? And shedding light onto the darkness will bring light into a situation. So don't be afraid to look at the darker aspects of yourself, to bring in the light, to shine the light on it, okay? As we do in the world and become the light. So willpower, yes. Yeah, so use your willpower, use your determination to move through the world, to achieve what you want to. You know, don't give up on your dreams. You deserve the best. And again, prosperity. So there's definitely prosperity coming towards you. Look at all the coins. A shower of abundance. I see that. There is abundance coming towards you. Open your arms to receive. And blessings. How beautiful is that? Blessings in all areas of your life. And we've got the full moon energy. And the full moon's on the 10th, okay? Just after Mercury go re goes retrograde. So these blessings could be coming in, you know, any time from now till then and off, and the next two weeks after that, okay? Although I said 48 hours, it's different for everybody. Healing, yes, you're going through a massive healing right now. So again, open up to receive the healing. And you could also be called to help others. Maybe you have the gift of healing within you as well. And courage, yes, sometimes it takes courage. This is like Leo energy. It takes courage, fire energy, passion energy to follow through, okay? But find that courage within you to keep moving forward in your life. And forgiveness, I think this came out in the other reading. So forgive yourself, forgive others. We're all human, we all make mistakes. Don't hold on to it, okay, because it keeps you stuck. So forgive yourself for anything that you 
you know, you regret or whatever happened and forgive others. It doesn't excuse bad behaviour. It just gives yourself permission to move on. And when you do that, you will have peace. You will find that inner peace. And that's what we all want, isn't it? After all, we all want to feel peaceful, at peace within ourselves. And the more people that have peace within themselves, the more peace we can radiate out into the world, okay? And justice. Your justice is coming in. You're getting what you deserve. Balance is coming into your life. And everything you've reaped, you know, you will sow. Sorry, everything you sow, you, you will reap. You will get your rewards. And we can see that time and again here. And commitment. So for some of you, this is a commitment with another person. And for others, it's a commitment to yourself, to your dreams, to your goals. To commit to something is to keep on that path, to keep moving forward, no matter what, okay? And movement. Yes, there's definitely movement. We've got the number 11 here, 2 plus 9, 11. So there's definitely movement forward in your life. I feel there's been a lot of stuck energy in the collective. So I feel you're starting to move forward. You're going to start moving forward in your life in this autumn season. And being that playful energy, being that light-hearted, fun energy, don't take life too seriously. Laugh when you can, find the humour in it, everything when you can. And we've got High Priestess of Earth. So this could be you, grounding your energy. Some of you could be Earth signs. Very grounded, very earthy, very nurturing people. So get time to get grounded out in nature. And we have self-worth energy. So step into your self-worth. You are worthy. You're worthy of all good. Know that you're deserving of all good. And this will help radiate that out to the universe. And you will attract those good things in. And you're stronger than you think. You have the strength within you. You've gained in a lot of strength. You've got that strength. It's spiritual, mental, emotional strength to overcome any obstacle in your life. And we have reminders. So don't forget who you are. Don't forget you are a powerful being of light, an energetic being of love. We are here to spread the love, the light, okay? And let go of the past. Let go of anything that's keeping you stuck. Let go of control issues. Allow yourself to flow with the universe, to flow with the world, to just trust, believe, and look at the transformation that's going to occur. All these butterflies and the number two, two. And for some of you, it could be a relationship coming towards you. By letting go of control issues, you're just allowing these things to come into your life to manifest. <clears throat> and be honest. Be honest with yourself about what it is we said earlier. What are you trying to manifest? What sort of life do you want? Be honest with yourself. It starts with self. Be honest with ourselves, And be honest with others about who you are and what you want out of your life. Because only then can you really fulfill that. So finally, I'm going to get some messages from my Life Lessons Oracle. So yeah, brand new start, new beginnings, a leap of faith. So there's a brand new start on the horizon. It's time to take a leap of faith. And being those playful, fun energies, happy times ahead. You know, we attract what we are. Um, being that light-hearted, playful energy. Yeah, go with the flow. Trust, as I said. Go with the flow of life. And what is your passion? Follow it to bring it into abundance. So... <clears throat> find that passion within you follow your passion that was one of the first messages we started with and there's good changes ahead we've got the sun in the distance not far away positive vibes so being that positive energy because as i said like attracts like there's good changes ahead for you and again there is a light at the end of the tunnel keep going so don't give up just before you get there you've been through a lot you've been through dark night of the soul maybe you've been through darkness enlightenment is coming in there is a light at the end of the tunnel good times ahead for you yeah a tower moment so unexpected changes <clears throat> the tower doesn't have to be a bad thing okay this could be just something out of the blue happens in your life and it'd be different for everybody it could be a job out of the blue a job offer out of the blue and we had the financial abundance out of the blue um, could be a relationship out of the blue for some of you something unexpected okay and it could be a good thing for you it's not going to be bad and the rainbow after the rain happy surprises on the rain another rainbow wow i've lost count of how many rainbows were in this reading so take that as a very positive sign happier times luckier times ahead okay happy surprises on the way and unexpected messages, letters and emails for some of you. So again, we had that unexpected. So somebody you may not expect is going to reach out to you. 
Okay, absolutely beautiful messages there. I hope something resonated there for you. Sending you love and blessings. Don't forget to win a free reading for September. Subscribe, like and comment the word star on this channel. And I will see you next time. Love and blessings.